welcome back to Gibby 4 um, This video is going to be another little Blue Peter project video uh, So recently I got a gift from Lee at Nerd the Geezer well, it, was, um, it was more of a trade, I, I, I gave him a game not not too long ago I didn't really want anything back but he did say he was going to sort me out so he did send me something recently and it was um, Rick Taylor and Streets of Rage um, it's a really cool wee game. I, th I think essentially Rick Taylor um, replaces Max. It's a reskin for Max in the game. Um, it's pretty cool. It's really well played over. I think I got up to like the fifth level or something, fourth or fifth level. And it's just it's really easy with Rick because he's an absolute machine. He just smashes his way through all the all the punks. But it's really cool and it's very unique. The, the concern I've got for this though is that because it's a, a car only. Is that I'm I'm scared in case it just gets lost in the, like a drawer or it gets lost in the mess of the game room. So I did try to make a little display for it because I want this to be on display, like in my room. So when people do eventually get to come over, my friends come over, they can see this because I'm sure my friends wouldn't have seen uh, something like this before, and it'd be cool to show them. Um, so yeah, I did. I tried to make a little display for it. Now, like the my last project I did was the N64 sleeves and they took forever, they, the, like the font on them alone was just, it took ages and ages to do. But this one was a little bit quicker. Um, and I'm, I'm really pleased with the way it turned out, I hope Lee likes it as well. But this is going to be displayed on the wall somewhere and I made a little kind of display like this, this is it here. I need to, I want to get the, the brickwork done a little bit heavier because it looks a little bit light. Um, so essentially I just done a like a blood splatter and then I cut a wee hole in it so you can see the game when it's in there. I'll put it in a wee second. And then I put it on put it on like a brick background with um near the geezer there. Near the geezer out. A little bit of graffiti on the on the brickwork. I just need to make it a little bit flatter. Um the reason I did it with the brick background is, is because in the Streets of Rage 2 cover art. You can see in the background that there's um, a brick wall and there's loads of graffiti on it. So I wanted to give a little nod to the other geezer and I put his little um, signing off tag that he says in his videos on the back on the back background of it. Um, yeah, the, I've made like a little tray inside there as well, so that's where the cart will sit. And it's easy enough to get the cart in and out. But that's how it's gonna look when it's up in the wall. And have the cart inside behind the blood splatter and I was considering like ripping the, the edges of it so it looks like the brickwork is coming through like the wallpaper but the missus said not to do that she said keep it clean like that so I don't know I don't listen to the missus a lot so we'll see what I, what I decide to do before it goes up in the wall but anyway I just wanted to make this little display because it is something I do want to have displayed for when people do get to come over um, and just to um, rest assured Lee that it is a very welcome part of my game room and it's very treasured and I will I will definitely have it on display um, but again thank you very much for watching just a wee quick video on what I want to do with that cart in particular cheers guys take care